I'm not gonna lie, when I first opened this PR package, I was a little disappointed. Uh, it's just like a really odd color selection, I feel like. Good morning, everyone! So for today's video, I am going to be filming a quick first impression slash video review of the new Pony by Morphe collection. I received this as a PR package and I wanted to go over the collection with you guys. So uh, without much further ado, let's get started because I've got some thoughts. I was so excited when I got this in the mail. I mean, like this is basically like the cutest PR package ever. You've got some big portraits of Pony here on the inside and bum ba da bum. And this is what the palette looks like. There are 35 shades in here and they range from mattes to shimmers, icy colors, frosty colors, all kinds of different shades in here, which we'll go over that in a second. And then we've got her pop of pastel matte lipstick trio. This retails for 18 bucks and you get three lipsticks. So I don't know if you guys can tell, I did attempt to recreate this like pastel rainbowy look Pony has. I'll go ahead and throw in the tutorial here so you guys can kind of see a quick demo of the eyeshadow palette and then we'll get to my thoughts of the eyeshadow palette. when I first pulled this palette out I was a little confused but having tried it out I have to say I'm pretty impressed now this is my first time ever trying anything from Morphe this is the first time they reached out to me and wanted to send me anything so I mean naturally it was the pony <laughs> collection which I thought was kind of funny but yeah the reason why I was kind of surprised by the color selection was because I mean obviously these are very cool colors and for me being a warm undertone or like a yellow undertone which I'm pretty sure a lot of her demographic is I didn't know how I felt about these being very cool shadows having tried them out on my lid I actually do like how these look now because there's not a lot of darker colors in this this is what I would refer to as like a supplementary palette I think that I would recommend this for someone who really likes to experiment with color I read in a allure interview that she gave that she really wanted these to be like a light wash of color, very watercolor-esque, and I can definitely see her inspiration behind that. So I'm actually really excited about the colors in this palette and playing with them because I'm realizing I don't have a lot of colors like this. So like I said, this is a good supplementary palette in case you already have like a lot of neutrals and we all have like brown tones or more earthy tones. This is something that I think is fun to experiment with if you're the type of person who likes to play around with color. And for 25 bucks, the quality of this palette is pretty nice you do get that like light wash of color so these aren't going to be like supremely pigmented but that was actually the goal of this palette so I really like this I like I said I'm excited to try out some more looks with this and I'm pretty happy with how this like pastel rainbow eyeshadow look <laughs> 
Now here's where my hesitation comes in with this whole collection are the Papa Pastel Matte Lipstick Trios. Now I'm actually wearing one of the shades on my lips called Charisma. Now I did do swatching of all of the lip colors on my lips so you could see what they look like. And let me be the first to admit, I have lines in my lips. I have dry lips, I mean I exfoliate them and I did keep them moisturized before testing all of the matte lipsticks on my lips because I knew they were gonna be matte. But boy, did these emphasize like every single little crease in my lips. And for some reason, this matte formula is not the most forgiving formula. I almost feel like I ate a powdered donut and then I tried to apply lipstick on top of it. It just looks really chalky. And the reason why I'm a little hesitant with the shade selection is because I understand that they're pastel. But what's odd about it to me is that, again, referring to that Allure interview, and I quote, they're very warm, cute colors, like a little fuzzy knit sweater. I don't actually think that, in my opinion, these are warm colors. They seem very cool toned to me. And because of that, I don't really find that this works for me as a lipstick color. Like, I wouldn't wear any of these out and about. I do like how she described it. A little fuzzy <laughs> knit sweater, which I thought was cute. They look so much better on her than me. Like, I don't even feel like we're wearing the same color lipstick. Like. Hers almost looks more terracotta-y. Mine looks very powdery. I'm a little surprised she picked colors like this specifically for the lipsticks because these colors would probably only look good on really fair skin tone girls who have either cool or neutral undertone. Definitely aren't something that I'm going to wear on my lips. I did read in the same article that she said you can use them as eyeshadow primer, so I think that's actually how I will be using these. Yeah, they just make yeah, they just make my lips look really dry. It might be a personal problem, I don't know. <laughs> All right guys, so I hope you enjoyed this super quick review of the new Pony Park collection with Morphe. I just wanted to do a quick rundown of the palette, the lipstick, the retail prices, details, all that kind of good stuff, and I believe it launches tomorrow, actually, so I wanted to get this review up for those of you guys who are interested. I wasn't really planning on this being my first video back for 2020. I've actually filmed a couple other videos, but they're just taking me a really long time to edit, and I wanted to get this up before the collection launched, so I'm excited to kick back up my content. Thank you guys for being patient with me. I had a lovely holiday, even though I was horribly sick, but it was just nice to have some time for me, and I hope you guys have had a wonderful start to 2020 and also had a lovely holiday season. And also I realized I never announced the winners for my giveaway at the end of last year because like I said, ending was abrupt. I got really sick. So I will put the winners here as well as in the description box below. As always, I hope you guys are happy and healthy and don't forget to rate, comment, subscribe, share with your friends and family, hit that notification bell, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.